What's going on guys? Talking today about tracking store visits in Google Analytics. This is great, especially for anyone who's in retail, brick and mortar stores, uh, restaurants, anything in hospitality, bars. Uh, getting people who actually come into your location is huge for you because that's how you actually make your money. It can be very hard using all different kinds of digital platforms to drive people to your website and not really know if they end up converting. Uh, because you're looking for that f foot traffic. So let's say you have a restaurant. Uh, unless you're running coupons or deals or redemptions or you're driving people to uh, book a reservation through OpenTable or something like that, you don't actually really know how much your efforts are translating into business for yourself. So one of the things you can do is set up store, store visit tracking in Google Analytics and in Google Ads as well. Uh, I wanna walk through how that's calculated first before we really dive into it because that's that's a really common question um, people want to know how are you actually able to track how many people come into my location and it's, it's sort of a complex answer um, really the biggest way is location services on anyone's phone it's on iphones it's on um, androids as well i'm more familiar with the iphone side but um, wi-fi networks that you connect to as well is another so if you're near a starbucks and your phone picks up that that Starbucks Wi-Fi, even if you don't connect to it, the fact that your phone even senses that network tells Google essentially that uh, you're in, in the vicinity of that Wi-Fi network. So that's another way. Also any Google app that you could log into. So that goes for Google Drive, Gmail, Google Maps, YouTube, Android, uh, photos, calendars, um, that's all I can think of off the top of my head, but even the Google app for uh, for iPhones is another. Any of those that you're logged into or, or use on a daily basis, especially your calendar, things like that, Google Maps are huge. Um, it's gonna be able to report that location data back. And uh, I spoke to an engineer at Google Marketing Live uh, about a month ago when we went out there and they assured me that these store visits, this metric is 100% accurate. Uh, there's there's literally no way that it can be false. So that I think is crazy. Um, but what I want to talk to you about is how you can set up these store visits. So I've actually got this information right here, and I'll read it to you. Uh, there are seven factors to get to get this set up. The first is that you have to have a Google My Business account. So that's pretty standard. Anyone who's running regular SEO or who has a brick and mortar location usually has Google My Business account set up. Uh, you have to have active location extensions in Google Ads. So that's the biggest thing. You need to be running Google Ads to, to track these as conversions. And if you're, if you're running Google Ads, you probably have those lo location extensions set up. Uh, you need your Google My Business and Google Ads accounts to be linked, and you need to have at least 90% verified Google My Business listings. Again, pretty standard, par for the course stuff. Uh, you need to have a Google Analytics account, of course, you need to link your Google Ads account to your analytics account, also another easy one. And all of your uh, your set of location extensions has to be imported from Google My Business. Again, another thing that you would likely just do. And you have to enable Google Signals, which is as simple as checking a box. So it's pretty simple to actually implement this. Really, you just need to be running Google Ads and Google Analytics. You check a few boxes here and there, make sure everything's imported from those accounts, syncing with each other between Google My Business, Google Analytics, and Google Ads, and you're ready to rock and roll. It might take up to 60 days for that location data to start populating, but once it does, you're good to go, and you'll be able to see exactly how many people you're driving into your brick and mortar locations, which is great. That's all I have for today. Thank you. Happy Wednesday.